To say you gotta know somebody Or know somebody To get somewhere these days To say you know that's alright Yeah, that's alright Cause you know that's alright with me Yeah, you know that's alright Yeah, that's alright You can go to a lot of real estate meetings You meet all these different people They have different ways of making money They have different products that they sell I'll tell you what I always tell people I say you should, you should go around as many real estate meetings as you can. And listen to all these people. Try to figure out, find somebody out there who's doing something that resonates with you. That you go home and go, I think I like what those guys are doing. I want to do what they're doing, okay? I'm here to tell you that we got this business figured out. We are limited by time and energy. Those are really our challenges today. We're not limited by anything else. There is no piece of real estate that I cannot look at and be limited by the price because I'm never putting my own money into it anyway. So why would I be limited by it? I am bidding on a building right now for $5.2 million in Florida. Big deals are complicated, okay? And big deals can suck up tons of your time and energy. And if you'd like to hear about buying big deals, you should read my book because I spent you know, years of my life chasing big deals. Some of the greatest deals I've ever made and I almost got creamed at the same time. You can really get hurt in commercial real estate. But, uh, but what I'm saying is what's great about our strategies is that I'm not limited by anything. I can go out and buy $50,000, $100,000 houses. I can just buy one of them. I can build on $5 million buildings or anything I want. Because I know these strategies, I've got it all. I've got all the tools I need in, right here to make it happen. I'm limited by time. And you know, I, I, every day I wake up and I, I sit in my home office and I got all this stuff that I could be working on. And, and I have to make a decision. Am I gonna chase that $5 million building? Or am I gonna go after the easy fruit and just get some easy houses? What is it that I'm going to do? And I go through phases where I, I chase one for a while and I chase the other. Right now I'm getting sucked into chasing the commercial real estate deal. But I tell you, that's great for your ego. It makes you feel really good. <laughs> you pull one of those off. I, I started out this meeting telling you how I bought that one of the stories in my book. I bought a $2.1 million building with $10,000. And I can tell you today if I did that deal, it would be a $2.1 million deal and they'd be paying me forty thousand dollars a year. That was actually a bad deal <laughs> compared to today's today's standards. But I bought that two thousand six, so uh, different time. Um, I was just thinking about the deal that we didn't cover. We, no, hold, hold on a second, I'm going somewhere with this. The one thing I just wanted to tell you guys, okay? Here's what we could do for you. We we've got this business figured out. Okay? You're not gonna find anybody out there who's got a better way to hold real estate. Holding them in trust is a way to go. You might not completely understand it right now. Keep coming to these meetings, and we'll make sure you do understand it. You won't find a better way. Okay? If you find somebody who's got a better way to go out and buy millions of dollars worth of assets, get paid to buy those assets, never use their own money, never sign their name to a mortgage, okay? be limited by nothing except their time and energy, meaning that I could go out and in 2015 and buy $6 million worth of real estate that I didn't put a dime of my own money into, okay? And I didn't necessarily sign my name to a mortgage, but I, I, I legally, and with partners who raise private money, or make the sellers my partners, but that's essentially what subject two is. The sellers are allowing you to take over their mortgage, or they're becoming the financing for you. There's no better way to do this business. If you find somebody who you think's got a better plan Please take my business card, call me up, because I'm going to go with you to that meeting, all right? There is no better way. So, that's the message that we put out here tonight. Do we have some products to sell? Yeah, we got some products to sell. And if you end up buying everything that we, we sell, we're, we'll make a couple grand off of uh, the sale. But there's so many other ways that we can help each other, okay? Eric's getting into business. He's got a, a young partner, and they're getting ready to start in this business. And I tell them all the time, if you find a good deal and you can't fund it, maybe you should give me a call. Okay, if we're going to fund it, we want to be partners on it. We don't fund deals, for, we're not lenders. But we might come in on a deal with you. Maybe you find a deal that's subject to, you don't quite know how to put it together, 
and you didn't buy the buyer's briefcase, you want us to come in and help you? We might do that. We might come in and be your partner. After you see how easy it is, you'll, you'll buy the buyer's briefcase. It's a lot cheaper for you because you're going to have to give us half the profits from the deal. We're, we're interested in working with people in this room. We're interested in building relationships with you. We, we need deals sometimes too. Sometimes I told you, sometimes we've got too much money and we don't have enough deals. We need deals. Sometimes it's the other way around. Maybe you know somebody's got money, but you don't have a deal to apply it to. We'll make you a partner in our deal. Okay? We don't mind working with people as long as it's mutually beneficial for all of us. 